Hey Canucks fans, let's talk about coaching, prospects, and goalie mass, all in today's Ask Me Anything. I am Canuck Clay, and this is my Canucks take on one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Monday, May the 9th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. I hope you all had a great Mother's Day weekend and Mother's Day yesterday. I took a break from streaming. It immediately felt good, and it, I passed out after having a massive dinner. Uh, so maybe that was a good call in in uh, in in hindsight, I guess. So that was good, and I hope you guys had a really good weekend as well. Don't forget that today, um, no Canucks after dark because uh, of me for once. I have a softball game followed by a hockey game. It's the rare tandem of sports. So we will be moving Canucks after dark to tomorrow. That's Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Got some great questions from you today in this week's mailbag. So let's get to them right away in this week's edition of Ask Me Anything. Karan says this, where do you rank prospects like Arshdeep Baines, Aiden McDonough, Yoni Yormo, and Linus Carlson in terms of who will be the first regular NHLer? Well, I put Yormo at the bottom of that list. Uh, I don't, I'm not convinced he's going to be a regular NHLer. I put Aiden McDonough second to the bottom on that list because he still has to, oh, actually, no, he's got one more year of college. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to move Aiden McDonough to the top of that list, and then I'm going to go... Carlson Baines. So I'm going to go McDonough, who's got one year left of college, but he could sign with the Canucks. Uh, okay, now that I look about this, there's a difference between playing in the NHL and a regular NHLer. If it's first to get to the NHL, I'm going McDonough, Carlson, Baines, Yormo. If it comes to regular NHLer, I think Carlson maybe, um, and then Baines. I go Carlson, Baines, McDonough. And then Yormo. So no matter what, I have Yormo at the bottom. I have McDonough. Oh, I'm so sweating so much. I have McDonough making the NHL first because he could play at the end of next season already. Then I think I have Carlson and Baines each two week, two years away. So that's the order I'm going to go uh, for making the NHL. McDonough, Carlson, Baines, Yormo. If it comes to regular NHLer, maybe Carlson, Baines, McDonough, um, and then Yormo. But we'll see. We'll see. It's, it's neat to at least talk about some prospects with some potential for the Canucks. Jaskin, what do you make of the recent rumors that New Jersey is willing to trade their 5-6 pick for an impact player? Could Miller be involved in a trade to New, Jer- New Jersey? I saw um, Lego Rock's vlog about it. Um, and, you know, it's very easy to throw out any impact player from any team right now and say that maybe New Jersey will trade from them, uh, trade for them. So I don't put too much stock in it yet uh, with respect to JT Miller. Um, no surprise that they want to trade for an impact player given all of their, their nucleus of young talent already. So I will kind of comment more on that if we hear more, but um, I don't want to say too much. It's good Lego Rocks uh, was able to pull a whole video out of that, but I'm not sure that uh, I'm not sure we should be looking that way as Canucks fans just yet. Nuts and bolts. Did Spencer Martin talkie career overrun Michael DiPietro's? Well, I wouldn't say it overrun DiPietro. DiPietro can still be a pro, but he certainly passed him in the Canucks death chart. And the proof is in the pudding. Martin gets six games this year, going 3-0-3. Also signs a two-year contract um, start uh, for to back up Thatcher Demko, basically going forward. Now, I see uh, DiPietro and a fourth goalie, an NHL veteran on a PTO. Those are the four guys that I see battling for a spot in camp. Well, not Demko doesn't have to battle. So it's Demko... Martin, DiPietro, maybe a fourth, but I do think it's going to be Demko and Martin next season. Speaking of Martin, Quacky says, do you prefer, oh no, do you like Spencer Martin's shiny mask? Yeah, I do like the shiny mask. I think it, it looks good. I, uh, I've i seen it live a few times. I think it looks awesome, actually. doesn't really go with the black skate jersey, which I saw him wear, uh, you know, play in, a, in at least once wearing the shiny mask. But overall, I think it looks good with the blue, the green, and the white. And yeah, it's a good, uh, you know, I don't know if it's a trend. We see the the duck, uh, the not the ducks, the, the golden knights and uh, wearing those shiny ha- helmets, the kings. But you don't really see it on a goalie a lot. So I do like it, actually, for Spencer Martin. I think it looks pretty sharp. Gmod, how do you feel about the criticism by Rutherford of Bruce's systems? Um, on one hand, it's refreshing to hear a uh, president of hockey operations not be afraid to to say stuff like that. On the other hand, I, I think those kind of things sometimes should stay in the room. And you can say, um, uh, but it's not like Rutherford was was brutal. It's not like, uh, I, I, I could see Boudreaux actually going both ways too. I could see him getting offended by that and saying, oh man, I wish he kind of talked to me privately or kept that in the room. But I could see Boudreaux saying, okay, that's his opinion, but my system seemed to work. We were 17 games over 500. 
under my systems in, in two thirds of a season. So uh, it could go either way, both from Rutherford and from Boudreaux. For me, um, I think you could have said it a different way. You could have just said there's some things that I that we want to solidify with, with Bruce or you don't have to say Bruce, Bruce's coaching style. You could just say there's things we want to solidify as a team and maybe you leave it at that as opposed to saying, you know, there's uh, we got to work on the systems. Just, just a quick thought. Another Boudreaux question, Derek, and very timely today given the news from this morning. If Boudreaux decides not to come back, do you think the Canucks take a run at Barry Trotz? Absolutely. If, if Bruce does not come back, Yes, I think that um, I think Trotz would be good, especially if we hear that Rutherford and Alvin are systems oriented. They like disciplined play. Then I think Trotz fits into that uh, into that uh, category for sure. Interesting timing. You know, we know that uh, Boudreaux has until June one to to decide, and it's May nine, so it's three weeks away. And we hear this news about Barry Trotz being fired in in New York. So. We will see what happens. We go from one guy with no neck to another guy with no neck. Trevor says, which Canuck do you think will retire being a lifetime Canuck? Ooh, that's a good question. You know, if I had to look at all the guys right now, um, I'd say it would be Horvat or Demko. I, I'm certainly not s- suggesting that PD or Hughes or Besser aren't going to be loyal, but they're going to be up for massive contracts, especially PD and Hughes. Hughes in five more years, PD in two more years. So maybe, maybe it's going to be tougher to sign them, although... I want them to retire as Canucks. You know, you look at the people in in the six players that have been retired, Smeal and the Sedins were lifetime Canucks, lifetime Canucks, but Bure, Linden, and Naslin weren't. They were on other teams as well. Uh, Bure and Linden started here, but they went to other teams. Naslin started with Pittsburgh, came here, and then and then went off to the Rangers. So uh, we're, we're batting 500 when it comes to at least the players that are Hall of Famers, or, or at least, uh, you know, with the jerseys lifted, I should say, jerseys retired three for six in whether or not they were lifetime Canucks. So if I had to pick anyone, I'd go Horvat as number one and Demko as number two. Those to me could be lifetime Canucks. Tyler says, if Rogers arena was replaced, where would the new arena be located? Um, I think you still want to go downtown or at least in the Vancouver vicinity, maybe in, you know, the Queen Elizabeth park area or whatever, but I think you want to say Vancouver proper uh, cause Surrey, Langley, Abbotsford, they all have their big arenas already. Um, so I maybe that's the I think you either try and find a place downtown or somewhere in central Vancouver. That's an interesting question though. And then Crispy Assassin says, is Tucker Pullman's career done? I think it's too early to say that. Crispy Assassin, um, a really unfortunate end to his career. Uh, sorry, end to his season. I I don't get Michael Furlan vibes just yet, but we'll see what a an off season of training and recovery does, and we'll see what happens when he comes back for training camp. Well, Canucks fans, some great questions there. As always, leave me a comment, a reaction to any of my answers down below. I want to give a shout out to my sponsors, Perform Transform, Personal Training and Weight Loss. Sign up now for a free someday trial. Use the link in my video descriptions. And to Van City Experts Real Estate Group, contact Jason Lim and his team for all of your real estate needs. Legendary Lucas Gates, Legendary Jess Incredible, Legendary Andrew Chang, thank you. Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sim Alexander, Chris Seifert, Adam Broomfield, Shannon Hollingworth, HSM Fangirl Gaming, Smooth Groove, and Carol Bovenlander, thank you to you as well. Thanks to all members of all levels. You're listed in my video descriptions. If you want to become a member of the CCC crew, press the join button underneath this sermon videos on the memberships tab on my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you'd like to, like this video if you'd like to, leave a tip or super thanks if you'd like to. Become a member or upgrade your membership if you'd like to, and definitely leave a comment down below if you'd like to. If you made it this far, nine minutes in, the the word of the day is shiny because of Spencer Martin's mask, shiny, S-H-I-N-Y. If you type in shiny, all caps, then I know you made it to the end of this video. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. Have a great day. God bless, and go Canucks go.